Hello, my beautiful souls. This is Julie with Into Heart Space. I just wanted to thank you all for watching um, my videos and liking and sharing and subscribing. Um, it's been so wonderful getting to know all of you and doing readings for you. And if you would like to get a reading, you can contact me on my website or email me at um, the email in the description box below. And also, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't hit you or resonate with you right now, that's okay. You can always go to your sun, moon, rising sign, and maybe the message you need is there. Um, but I have been loving um, getting to know everyone, so thank you, thank you, thank you, and on to your reading. Hello, Pisces. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we're looking at the energies surrounding you for mid-November of 2016. So what added guidance do we have for our Piscean, our Piscean friends for the remainder of November 2016? Okay, let's see. Pisces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the energy that is coming um, from the beginning of um, November is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So the nice thing about the Wheel of Fortune um, in reverse is that it's always turning, so the outcome is always shifting. So if you were in, let's say, a negative situation, and it's like that, it's still going to shift to the positive. If you're in a positive, it could shift to the negative. It's continuously turning. So um, I love, you know, it is called the Wheel of Fortune. So the nice thing is is that if it is turning to a space that is uncomfortable for you give it time and it will turn back so there's never a stagnant moment with it of staying in a negative situation or also in the positive okay so let's see eight of wands the universe ten of wands in reverse page of cups in reverse and then the queen of wands okay so this is, the rest of the month is about choices, about ideas and things coming in um, for you to contemplate and decide on. So you're going to, that's why, um, that's really cool that we have the Wheel of Fortune here um, for you and it was in the reverse. Um, so you have all of these choices and some of them I think are going to change your situation, change where you are right now in your life. So we do have the universe in the love sector. So I feel like if you're with your partner right now, you, you guys are in a really fabulous space, you know, or you're starting to get to a fabulous space. Yeah, you could have been in a difficult time and now all of a sudden things are starting to click and make sense. If you aren't seeing anyone, then this is the time to get out there because, um, you ha you have this this energy this power um, that you um, that just draws people into you and so you're going to have a lot of choices um, between uh, people you can date people you can see um, and th and so that will be really exciting for you and I think for those who are searching if you are actively searching and actively want to get out there and meet somebody for a long-term uh, relationship you could definitely do that in this in this time so um, then we have the ten of wands in reverse at work so this is you know working 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 really really hard but really getting no payoff and not seeing any benefit off of everything that you're doing so um, you know once again though we have the wheel of fortune so I think um, it's that you need to change the way you're doing it. Maybe change, um, you know, the the road that that you're trying to get to your destination on. So, um, and it could also be that maybe you just need to shift in jobs because you're working yourself in 
in t you're working way too hard and then there's I think you're gonna have some choices to make about it like whether or not it's worthwhile for you maybe you should go find another job maybe you should start looking maybe you should um, you know talk to your supervisor or your boss and say hey this I feel like I'm working really hard and nothing is paying off and maybe you guys can maneuver it in a different way that will make more sense to you but it, it definitely is a card about working a ton and just that's it what and why are you working so you're gonna have to think of the the different choices that you have regarding that for your own um, self-care then we have the page of cups in reverse so this could you know could definitely be a child and you're just spending a lot of money on them on frivolous things that don't re you don't really need you know but it's because they are um, being um, snippy and needy and you just feel like the only way you can actually take care of it is by just you know spending money on them so and this is saying um, you know so the seven of wands and the page of cups in reverse is uh, you're going to have to stand up for yourself in, in this regard. If you're spending money on somebody who you feel is really, really young, is somebody that you, um, it could be, you know, somebody who is your same age but just is immature, um, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. And it's going to be hard, but you have to do it. You know, that's the only way that you're going to actually save your finances is if you um, step up and say no more. Okay, no, I'm not going to buy you another, um, I don't know, meal out or I'm going to, you know, if it's a child, then buy another Lego set or something like that. You have to, you know, put, dig your heels in and um, stand up for what you know is right. Then we have the Queen of Wands in the health space. So Pisces, I feel like this is kind of a guide for you. The Queen of Wands is, um, you know is kind of um, magical <laughs> in that she's just so much fun to be around and she's funny and quirky and um, just the life of a party and wants to you know bring everyone to a jovial space um, and so with our health I think you know let's see let's see okay um, you know so I think she's trying to get you out of this nine of wands situation so we have the nine of wands in reverse. So it's protecting yourself, um, looking out over the work that you have been doing. Look at that and see how it's linked there. Um, and just being tired of what you see and what you do. And once again, questioning where you are in your situation. And then the queen of wands comes in and says, hey, it's okay. It's all right. We got you. And health wise, if you feel like there's something wrong or if you feel like there's something off, then I would definitely go get it checked out because maybe the Queen of Wands is actually your doctor, you know, and saying, hey, it's, you're going to be all right, even though you have some work to do, um, you know, but this is this is kind of like um, if you're tired, you're tired for a reason. So definitely go get that checked out. Okay. Or if you have an ache or pain, or if you just feel like your body is a little off in some way. Just, it's it's a good idea to go get it checked out. Okay. So let's call on your angels and see what added guidance you have for the remainder of November. Archangel Michael. You're working very close. Let me show it to you. And then I'll read it. You're, you're working very close with this powerful angel, archangel, who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Let me read that again since I was so, sh so choppy. Um, you're working very closely with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. I know another sign actually got the archangel Michael too. So, you know, um, if you're feeling in not as strong as you would like to be at this point, Pisces, then, yeah, this is a great time to um, ask help from Archangel Michael. He's super strong, super um, honest, 
and full filled with dignity and wants you to succeed so you know if you're feeling a little weak from too much work because your body feels a little off and you're spending money on people that don't appreciate it then um you know this is a time to ask for help with your s with spirit okay Luckily, I mean, it looks like you've got the world, I mean, you do have the world, the universe of love just blessing you. So it that always makes all situations easier is when you have somebody um, to love and who loves you. But it can still be a little overwhelming with some of these other situations. So just look to your spirit guides and they will, they will guide you. All right, Pisces, thank you so much. If you would like a personal reading, go to my website or you can email me. Um, and all that information is in the description below. Thank you so much. Love, joy, and blessings.